Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play of Arnhem 6. We are about to go hunt some goblins. Some more goblins, I guess. We've already slain a fair number. Oh, right. We're also, I guess, going to um, be uh, accompanied by this guy. Mm, we should keep hunting alone. Uh, travel with me together. We will create tales of heroism to thrill for centuries to come. Right. That's the spirit, I guess. Yes! Vendren turns and takes his place by your side. Lead on. My bow will be at your service. Until the goblins, the goblin tide is turned back from the shore of, uh, of here. But, he adds, I'm determined to hunt these goblins. They seem my natural prey for now. If you must... Uh, I'm determined to hunt these goblins. They seem my natural prey for now. Right. Uh, if you must travel elsewhere, I will return to this road. You can meet up with me here later. Okay. To heal him, cast a healing spell and click on him to target it. Yes, like you would anything, anyone else. I guess you can't hotkey heal like you can with party members, whatever. Um, if you're tired of his presence, you can talk to him. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he's not going to be in the way or anything. You hear Vendren gently humming to himself. You suspect that he's already composing a heroic song about your current adventure. Yeah, good for him. You enter the mines. These tunnels, like many such places in Avernum, were abandoned after the crops started to fail. The miners traded dreams of wealth for dreams of survival and flocked to the Great Portal. But monsters uh, abhor a vacuum. The goblins here have strewn refuse and gnawed bones everywhere. If goblins hadn't settled these mines, scuttlers would have. Or rats or kytrax. You can hear the nasty creatures muttering and cackling in the shadows not far to the south. Right. I'm so... so worried about missing switches now because they seem I don't know what what it is now uh, they seem easier to miss they seem or harder to spot whichever way you want to look at it okay wolf goblins goblins let's wait for them here oh wait um what am I doing I forgot that I picked up a range weapon for her not that she's good with it mind you oh man can we please <laughs> do the most basic auto pathing just to speed things up a little bit. You won't be able to fireball from there, no. From there, surely. Oh, it's your turn again. Uh, can you hit something? Can you take one step forward and then hit something? Uh, no, apparently. Okay, you also need to take a step forward. And you also miss. And <laughs> you have to take a step forward and shoot. Seeing a pattern here. Okay, those guys just don't want to approach us, which, you know, fair enough. Understandable. Okay. Come on, hit something. Nope. 60%. I think that's my hit chance. 75%. I mean, are these in any way different? They have 40 health, so I guess they are technically a different kind of goblin than we've been fighting. Oh, so close. And now they're coming. All right. Hey, he did something. Although I'm not sure if that's actually good for us. We did get the goblin ears from that kill. But I'm not sure if we got experience for that. Surely we would, though, right? They wouldn't deny us our experience from allied kills. Because that would just be mean. Nice one. Okay. Right, so... Oh. Some crystals right away. What's in here? Or, oh, bars of iron, actually. Not just bricks. Yeah, I'll take those. I guess they're pretty heavy, but... Um, oh, we're actually... Speaking of heavy things... It, just to confirm that, no, that's purely our current equipment. Interesting. So I can't really... I don't really have a whole lot of room here. A lot of uh, wiggle room in terms of actual equipment, and things are going to get heavier for sure. So uh, yeah, more strength is definitely a necessity. Uh, but I'm super glad that stuff we're just randomly carrying around is not contributing to that weight. Yeah, anyway. Um, buttons. You turn unexpectedly and catch Vendorin practicing heroic poses. <laughs> okay, we're going to get those fun little messages every now and then, which I'm totally okay with. Will they come? 
They might. Oh, they will now. Ouch. Not particularly ouch, but a little bit. I... I'm pretty sure I... Huh? Oh, I never switched her to, to the bow for some reason. Wait, why didn't I? <laughs> I I hit the X button thinking I would switch her to a melee weapon, but uh, that's not what happened at all. Okay. Yeah, okay, thanks for trying. She gets punched again. Okay. Now do the right thing, please. Ooh, nice one shot. Uh, you can throw out some healing here. No drops from those guys. Okay, so we have several, well, we might have several ways into the underground. There's one. As you explore the caverns, Vendron whispers a tale to you about the time on the surface when he brought down a young Arena. What? Arania, all by himself. A young Arania. I mean, if he's not even 20 yet, he's, you know, I guess he's 18 or 19. Presumably. Pretty young for someone to be adventuring and, you know, going out to, to kill monsters all by himself. Or at least that seems seems like that to me. Don't know what the normal age for that would be. But um, to have brought down even a young, a single young Arania at an age younger than that, all by himself, not too shabby. Ooh, nice one. And we got Cleaver Krog. Hello there, first mini boss. Yep. Sure enough. Should I buff a little bit here? Maybe just go for some combat blessing. Oh, he didn't get that. I don't know if he would. But I think actually friendly NPCs that are that aren't just neutral. He is friendly, yes. Um should be affected, but well, I mean not that it really matters. I think we're gonna pick off the small ones first, like so. Good start. Um, can't shoot the target from there. Okay, but you can reach that guy. And mm, that doesn't work, huh? Can you? No, that's too far away. And that's not in line of sight. All right. Um, I mean, I kind of don't want to want to put him there because kind of puts him in a very attackable spot. But then again, not even sure if they can reach us from here. Also, that goblin clearly was. Oh yeah, these are the less the lower health versions again. Huh. Uh, can you shoot him from there? Yes, that works. That was a miss. Or rather, a, a parry. 2%? He had a 2% chance to parry? That was um, pretty unlucky then, I guess. Or lucky for him. Ooh, he didn't like that fireball to the face. And he was able to just run right past. Is there no such thing? Hold on. Oh, he slows down. Surely the same should be true for enemies as well. But maybe, maybe he just has enough action points to still be able to attack after that. Can we, we can absolutely point blank shoot, by the way, even bows. Okay, so that's. I'm not crazy, right? That's definitely something that's not been true for. for all of the other games. Or why would that be so ingrained in my brain to, to always take a step back out of melee if you want to shoot? Surely I haven't just been doing that all these years for no reason. Fine cleaver. Ooh. Plus one to dex, even. I mean, extra uh, hit chance from dex is actually much appreciated, so yeah. Short sword. I think we can... I think there are maybe non-short sword swords, so regular swords, that can only be held in the main hand. And offhand can only have daggers or short swords, something like that. For now it wouldn't matter, but um, I guess it also doesn't matter... I, like, I don't think there's a damage penalty to your offhand weapon. It's just you have two weapons and you get one attack with each just at reduced hit chances for both of them, not just for one in particular. I don't know. 
I could be wrong. But uh, I'm just going to put this in the, in the offhand for now. Steel Dagger, 4 to 8 damage. Um, I mean, no one's actually using your, their melee weapon. But I guess I might as well give that to my mage. A dagger does seem more appropriate anyway than, uh, than an actual sword. Okay, cool. Um, first mini boss of the dungeon down. Wait, that doesn't sell for anything, right? So we don't want that. Still on the base level here. What have we here? Our first pedestal. This moldy ledger contains records of the operation of the mine. How many workers, how much expense, value of crystals obtained. This was a large operation with a surprising amount of money sunk into it. In the schedule, you find intriguing notes regarding time until extraction of great find. Ooh. The journal contains no hints of what the great find might be. And really, they, they were in such a hurry to leave that they didn't even finish excavating that great find to take with them before returning to the surface. That seems unlikely. I mean, it's not like they were driven out by some, some sort of uh, enemy attacking. It was just the the hunger creeping in and the situation gradually getting worse, right? So if they had been planning to excavate something valuable, wouldn't they have been able to wait just a couple more days to, to actually finish that job? To, you know, not leave completely empty-handed? Who knows what the situation was. Maybe they they got their their chance to leave and yeah, I suppose they, they had already been in that in this lottery that we heard about. And they got the message that, okay, so your turn has come up, you can leave now or uh, let the opportunity pass and you're gonna get added back to the to the rotation, I guess. And who knows when your turn's gonna the next chance is gonna come up. Find cloak. Um 38, 38. Ooh, wow, your armor has gone up nicely, actually, since last time I checked. You are definitely lagging behind a bit. I could give you the better cloak, although I don't know that he's... Oh, well, he has been punched just now by that mini-boss. So never mind. He definitely has been attacked, just not, you know, particularly badly. Anyway, let's uh, take the money first. What am I doing? Um, take that. Hmm... I mean, you, you can just put this on. There. Oh, there's a button. Man, those are those are tinier than than I'm used to somehow. Or is it the entire game maybe just more zoomed out? Is it ju just that that it's higher res than the than four and five? It's probably about the same level as um, as the remake trilogy in, in terms of just resolution. And by the way, I am playing this in a bit of an odd resolution that just happens to work out for me. I'm playing this in windowed mode, not quite 1080p, even though in the um, the little configuration window that pops up when you first start the game, it says um, I, I selected 1920 by 1080 um, but then it gave me this window, which is, you know, not quite that. It's, it's a, an odd number. Like 18 something by, I don't know, 900 something. Uh, let's see here. You have greaves, you have just normal pants. Okay, so you get slightly better pants, comrades. And I guess we don't need those because they're not worth anything. Beautiful crystals, though. Not bad at all. I guess I can also pick up the extra... Oh, those are different lanterns. Hold on. 40 to 100, 40 to 100, yeah. Well, in that case... Thanks, but no thanks, I guess. Can we please leave? Okay, thank you. I guess that's the one downside to having an NPC with you, but, uh, you know, they're not usually going to be in the way, or not for very long. Okay, let's just uh, go down here. Yep. We're somewhere on the other side of that gate now. Vendrin looks down the dark tunnels of the mine. Curses, I forgot to bring a torch. My eyes have not yet gained the uncanny ability to pierce the darkness that you Evernights possess. And yet, I feel we are close to the goal of our quest. Complete victory against the Goblin Scourge. He thinks. In this cave, anyway. Yeah, complete victory against this one small tribe of goblins. Who are probably relatively weak even by goblin standards. 
No. I'm gonna use this lantern just for role-playing reasons, if nothing else. Obviously, we don't really need it. Goblin Flinger... Okay. Uh... What? Oh, we were already in combat. Well... That's fine, you can walk there, shoot the Flinger, deal... Pretty pathetic damage. To be quite honest. There. That would have been a one-shot all by itself. Hello there, wolf. Nice one. Try your new dagger, huh? Not quite good enough. Vandoran, if you if you would, maybe? No? Okay. Where, where actually is he? Did he wander off into the into the other corridor or something? Just completely ignoring us here. Leaving us hanging. That was not the deal, Vandoran. You wait there. That's okay. Oh, okay. Got more flingers, I guess. That's fine. Uh, Hawk leveled up, of course. Unless he he's ever dead at the end of combat, or at some point in combat. He should always be the first one to level up. Ah, there he is. Took you long enough, my friend. Let's see here. Uh, if you can't shoot that guy... Should be able to one-shot him, probably, yeah. You seem to pretty consistently deal more than the 27 damage they have for health. Okay, there's just a lot of them. Suppose that's goblins for you. I... Yep, I should have manually walked you there. That was, uh... That's, that was on me. Oh, I also completely forgot about this wolf here. That I didn't even remember was here. You know what, why don't we... Take the pressure off a little bit. Probably not necessary here, but uh, we did stun them all, daze them all. Ooh, and once again we have a we have a shaman of some sort here, a mini boss that looks exactly like the others, so I didn't even realize. Okay. I mean, you could use some healing. Yeah, you know what? Let's not take any risks. We don't know what this spellcaster might be able to do. Okay, summon bats. That's not so bad. Although that thing hit relatively hard. Okay. Another summon. You know what? Mm, you're down to 32. You just had your turn. Take out the the bat so it doesn't get to do anything. And oh, you're not quite dead. Four health. Okay, it's a bit of a waste, maybe. But I don't want uh, Vandoran to get the kill here, just in case we don't get the XP for it. Didn't want to take that risk. Okay, cool. Uh, still no level up for her, huh? She must be really close, though. Um, not as close as I thought, for some reason. Should only be a 5% difference, but okay. I guess that's enough of a difference. Five points. Mm. I mean... Up to 41 spell energy, which is certainly nice. Um, some more nature lore is always going to be useful up to a point. Some protection would not hurt. Quite the opposite. More arcane lore because it's cheap. Mage spells is just so absurdly costly. Hmm. I don't know what would be best. My spellcraft is really the most useful thing, probably, after actual mage spells, but it's so much more affordable. I'm gonna get one more level of that. Now it's up to cost five. I'm gonna get one level of hardiness here. Alright. What do we get? A dagger? Worth a little bit? Hey, our first trinket. Or is that the first? No, we actually have this blessed bauble. I'm not even sure why I got that. Nowhere special, I guess. Hostile effect resistance? I mean... Um, yeah, 
I forget again if that includes mental effects or if that's just debuffs. It's definitely debuffs. But maybe it's also mental effects which might help with her uh, innate weakness there. Those are just sticks, not bows, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Oh man. If there are any switches on these walls, then I'm, I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled, but those are not going to be easy to spot. Bronze Sword Sword, um, cloak for you. Everyone else has a cloak, awesome. Energy potions, you can have another one. Oh, difficulty 10. Well, well, well. We might actually find the key for that, though. It seems like... I mean, 10 seems a little bit high for the first dungeon to for, for the game to expect, you know, an early game party to actually have someone have a thief with them with 10 in tool use. That's relatively high. And uh, it seems likely that we might just find the key for it somewhere. Oh, that's 15. That, yeah, I mean, that one's definitely too high for me to expect, uh, or to assume that the game would just expect us to have that. Hey, buddy. Ooh, really? You're a warrior with 31. Not even particularly tanky. Do you even have a range attack, though? Well, guess not. Too bad for you. It's one less guy to worry about. If there are any buttons in this area, then... I sure miss them. But we're gonna be back for those doors, I guess. Got a flinger. Can we reach you? For a melee attack, I think. So. No problem. Okay. Took out a flinger. There's some more goblins right there. Ooh, we know about three enemies well in the inside the Shadow of War here. Shadow of War? Is that no that's that's a game. <laughs> um Fog of War. <laughs> Same thing. Okay, those guys are coming first. Uh You can rush forward. Nice shot. Mm, yeah, sure. Take care of that guy. I guess you I wouldn't really have been able to walk around anyway. Let's see here. We do want more strength though for for the carrying capacity, if nothing else. So I think we're gonna save up for that. Which means we want to keep two points, so we can spend four. Which allows us to get a bit more hardiness. Possibly up to two levels? No, only, t only one. Hmm. I could get hardiness and first aid if I wanted to. I could also just get hardiness and keep an extra point. Could get quick action. I do like my quick action. You know what? Yeah, let's. I feel like we we seem to have reached a point where we're not super squishy. So maybe what little I invested in defense actually helped for the current, you know, where we currently are at in the game and enemy difficulty wise. So, a bit more offense maybe. Oh, so close. Literally one hit point. Okay. Step forth. Yeah, please keep coming. 
actually that's, that seems to have been the last of the goblins in the immediate vicinity. Some more javelins, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I also need to learn what random items are actually valuable enough to pick up, at least for now. Okay, I'll get some herbs. Which I assume are worth picking up. Gloves. Does anyone still need gloves? Not really. Helmets. I mean, I guess. There's no, no reason not to. What about these boots, though? 4%. Those are the decent ones. Okay. You're probably still lagging behind a little bit, so there. Boots for you. Hmm, which way to go first? Uh, I guess around here. Oh, hey. Because there's uh, less of the map to fill in here, although actually there might be a, a way around there somewhere. Okay. Either way, it doesn't really matter all that much. I'm gonna go everywhere anyway. Oh, this is where I shot that random warrior. Please click on the thing. Five flaw crystals, uh, purging crystal, group strong cure, okay. Um, I guess you take that, just because your quick slots aren't very filled up yet. More crystals. Okay, this, this connects around anyway. Is there... Oh, there's... This cave that I couldn't make a whole lot of progress in. Yeah, but we'd have to come from the other side for that too. that to change. Just taking an extra close look at the walls and I'm absolutely bound to miss a button here or there. It's gonna happen. They're, they're so subtle this time around that yeah, there's no way I'm not gonna miss at least a few. To the east you see an impressive bit of engineering, something that makes you realize that this was a more impressive mining works than you had thought. A pair of iron tracks have been with great difficulty laid across the chasm. A broad wooden platform is balanced on the tracks. There is a lever in the middle in the middle of the platform and chains underneath. Probably when the lever was pulled, machinery would drag the platform across the chasm. Oh. Okay, so not an elevator, but uh Hmm. Why not just build a bridge then? Why have a platform that moves along tracks across the chasm? Just build a longer platform. And you can save all that complicated and, you know, failure-prone machinery. Huh. Uh, whatever people uh, were pulling out of this mine, whatever people were pulling out of this mine, it must have been huge to require such effort. Well, yeah, I guess. The tracks are very narrow and wobbly. Crossing them would be dangerous. You will need to get across by riding the platform. Okay. So, is something gonna go horribly wrong here? Ooh. Are these Vanatai crystals? Or just some... Are they just using these this graphic for some sort of large crystal? You examine the lever and the visible machinery. The goblins appear to have been intelligent enough to leave it alone. It might even still work. I mean, they probably even used it, right? Pull the lever. You make sure you have a firm footing on the platform and give the lever a pull. The platform vibrates. You hear weights at the end of long chains begin to descend. You are slowly carried across the chasm. Vendoran leaps on the platform next to you. Isn't this exciting? This device seems exquis exquisitely dangerous. Yep. We agree on that. Alas, the machinery is very noisy. The creaks and scrapes carry effortlessly through the tunnels. Several hungry cave bats, drawn by the sounds, descend upon you from the high dark ceiling above. As the platform crosses, you might want to make time pass faster. Click on an active character or press the spacebar. Yes, thank you. Not for now, though, of course. Okay. Yep, 
You look across the chasm to the cavern to the north. It is dark and misty. All you can make out are several huge looming stone shapes and two goblins watching you. You recognize one of them is Lord Trinket, the goblin chief. He fingers one of the pendants hanging from his neck and cackles. Yes, the foolish invader has entered the spider's web only to feel the bear trap close around his feet. My armies attack! Bit of a mixed metaphor right there, but not bad for a goblin, I guess. Um, and then a horde of goblins runs out of the shadows, attempting to leap across the chasm onto your platform. Many of them fall short, fa falling hilariously into the dark depths below. Imagine the all the Wilhelm screams. A surprising number of them, however, make the leap. Okay. Well, two of them. I guess that's already surprising. How tough are you? Pretty tough. I wonder... We had a chance to briefly shoot him for one turn before he ran away on our first little encounter. I'm assuming that it's not possible to even kill him here, so I'm not going to bother, not going to waste any time on attempting that. You guys should actually be pretty much at equal levels of uh, of health, uh, of, of experience, so I'm not sure what's going on there, why you didn't level up at the exact same time. Okay, we got more goblins making the jump. Fair enough. There you go. I mean, not that, that it really matters. So let's see. Five points. Of course, not really enough to do anything with. You're going to have the same strength problem, though. So I think we're also going to keep two points for the next level. And spend only three. Which means we could get to a quick action five. Hmm... Or some more defense. Um, more tool use is tempting, just in case that level 10 lock is actually something I'm I'm expected to open. I mean, I could always make a note about it. In fact, that's probably something I will have to start doing at some point for this game, or should, either way. And uh, just return here later for some very meager reward, no doubt. But yeah, for now... I think I'm gonna go with quick action. Because those extra attacks with the with the spear are really nice. Very satisfying when those happen. Private Lulu. <laughs> Still not used to, to seeing that name in a in a video game. That's it's so weird. Um But it's a decision I made. Anyway, um uh, more intelligence? Oh, th I think I specifically saved a point for that. Probably. That seems like something I would have done past me from two days ago would have done. So let's go. Seems like a pretty decent thing either way. And with that, her mana is up to 31, which is quite respectable. In fact, I mean, it's it's been kind of okay even before this most recent level up. Okay, I mean, so long as we don't have anything else to attack, we might as well deal some damage, even though I doubt it's really making any difference. Um, okay. Oh, you're a goblin warrior. You really can't see the grid here on this platform at all, but... Easy enough to, to count the tiles, I suppose, if you really want to make sure. Oh, that's unfortunate. And he actually ran away without me even noticing, or just teleported. Oops. Oh well. And even more, still jumping across? Okay. Did you get a message about Trinket running away, actually? Once you realize that you can't hurt that you can hurt him from here, ah. Trinket backs away a bit. Fair enough. Super easy to miss messages just popping up in uh, in combat like this. Okay, you know what? We're gonna pick up any loot. Oh, or will we actually? The platform finally passes the goblin ambush. The sinister Lord Trinket shouts, You have escaped us for now! The next time we find you, you will be forced to escape us again! Uh, okay. That's a plan. Now that the goblins are gone, more bats start to circle down, hoping to feed. Okay. Uh, except there are actually still goblins around and bats now. Well, that's... How tough are you? 24? Eh. Not really a, a meaningful difference. 
please? Oh, come on, man. You had one job. Wow. At last, the platform reaches the far end of the chasm. With a soul-rending squeal, it grinds to a halt. Amazingly, you survived. The creatures were so great to... Were, were so great, no. Were no great threat. But the machinery was terrifying. Indeed. Okay. Honestly, what I'm amazed about is that... The drops, such as they are... I guess, just a stick and a, and a dagger... Actually remained on the platform, on the respective tile where they dropped. So I wonder how mechanically this this works. If the the literal ground tiles are actually moved with everything on them, or if there is something more complicated going on to to create the illusion of this actually happening. Either way, pretty neat that 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 the engine supports that kind of thing. Of course, we've seen similar um, things. Well, definitely in the remake trilogy with the slightly updated up engine, but I want to say even in maybe Avernum Four and Five, we had things like. Some sort of elevator actually going up and down within the same map. Which kind of impressed me at the time. Oh man, all these almost kills. So heartbreaking. Man, these rats are tough. 31 health. They don't seem that tough. I was gonna say there was another one. Sneaky, sneaky. 22 damage. Come on. Okay, good. And down here we have... We don't know. Okay, just normal goblins. Uh, javelins. Okay, just normal javelins. A gold ring, don't mind if I do. Normal pants. Normal cloak. Normal energy potion. Okay. No. None of that is worth anything. Uh, what? Oh. And that door wasn't locked, I guess? No, no, it's locked, but you managed to pick it. Okay, so. That was level 8 or lower. Uh, healing potion. Yep, you can get another one. That's just that, huh? Some random goblin prisoner. Nameless victim of their... I don't know. <laughs> of their raids. Okay. Something going on here. Rma. Okay, 69. Nice. Nice amount of help. Surely... I've oh got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So close. Well, in that case... I was already on my freaking range weapon. Okay, <laughs> you know. That's fair. Rats seem more resistant to fire, so I'm not guaranteed to kill one of those. I guess I'll just take out the goblin, even though, yeah. Well, actually, with only 26 damage, we wouldn't even have killed a, one of them at full health, so that worked out all right. Ooh, nice one. Okay. Just a punch from you, you're almost dead. You dropped some stuff. Okay. Surprisingly low health for a, even for one of these mini bosses. But I'll take it. Um, energy potion. You can have that. Shovel pincers. Surely at some point we're gonna have some quest that requires some random items, and that's definitely something I should also look up just so I'm prepared for it. Because it always extremely sucks when you suddenly get that and you weren't ready and then. All these random items that you've seen hundreds of over the course of the game suddenly seem like the rarest thing, and they're n nowhere to be found. It's always, always like that. 
no exceptions. So yeah, I should definitely do the thing. I clicked on the wrong thing. Even though I was clearly pointing at the enemy, the game was convinced I was trying to loot the nest in the middle of combat. Oh well. At least one of the wolves was kind of stupid. Well, actually most of them were. They are just wolves after all. I, uh... Yep, I thought I could walk around that for some reason. I guess I should have known better. I guess unfortunately my characters are ultimately just NPCs and thus just as dumb as all the others. That's another almost kill and our friend even missed. Okay, come on. Okay, we open that, which does exactly nothing for us. Hmm. Quite pointless. Some meat, some stuff, a steel dagger, four to eight. Nope. We get better than that. You don't need it, you don't need it. And uh, you have exactly that. Right. Return life. Which clearly we're never going to need, but you know. Broken bit of husk. Not worth anything. Although, it could be an item for some random quest somewhere. Could be. Okay, we have another platform, actually. Huh. Hmm. We have covered most of the map yet, although it might go lower than this. Maybe the, the big thing that they were talking about is actually here in the central chamber, and it's just this one map. It could be. Um, I am considering... Calling it an episode here, 42. Well, let's let's do this platform right, I guess, before before we're done. A second platform, same, it appears to be about as well maintained, okay. Let's see, in before we actually plunge into the, uh, tumble down into the abyss here. I mean, surely we wouldn't die if that happens. Honestly, I would, wouldn't mind if that did happen, and we found ourselves actually in some deeper cave and had to find fight our way back out. That would be... A neat little twist. Not entirely unexpected, I guess, but still pretty exciting. Anyway, pull the lever. You make sure you have a firm footing on the platform and give the lever a pull. The platform vibrates. You hear the weights at the end of long chains begin to descend. You're slowly carried across the chasm. Venran leaps onto the platform next to you. Another exciting ride. It seems to be too much to hope for, doesn't it? Alas, the moment you are away from solid ground, more goblins step out onto the ledge to the west, accompanied by Lord Trinket. As they prepare to fling javelins, their chieftain laughs. Once again, you have stepped into my doom! into my doom. <laughs> the humans say how weak we goblins are, but who now is about to die? Well, that is the question, isn't it? Unfortunately, you are fully healed again, but you're also actually a different NPC with way lower health. Hmm. Honestly, your health was so low. I mean, it's still 249. It's not nothing. But it's low enough that unless he's scripted to run away or just teleport away again, which he probably is, we might be able to kill him here. I mean, I doubt we actually can. So we're still going to focus on these goblins. Especially because they're all going to start shooting, being flingers and all. Oh, come on. Unfortunate miss. I, what I could do is daze them all. Yep. Sure enough. I mean, you can definitely watch out one of these guys. Oh. So much for that, but then he died anyway. So it's all good. I'm gonna not waste your your javelin on this guy. It's not worth it. I should also probably not have wasted your mana because you're running a bit low here. Your continued survival irritates Lord Trinket. He points at you and shouts, Die, my minions! Die for victory! More goblins run from the shadows and attempt to jump onto the platform. Some of them actually make it. Whatever else you can say about Lord Trinket, he is a truly inspiring leader to his kind. I don't know if that speaks for him or against his underlings, to be quite honest. 
Okay, sh surely if I click on you... Yeah, I'm gonna run around and, and make it. And not somehow weirdly go through here and waste my turn or something. And he ran away. Okay. But of course we got more... Sacrificial goblins here. Suicidal. Ooh, nice shot. Now Trinket shouts, Now sample one of the gifts I have received. My patron has given us great power. Patron, huh? He pulls a talisman away from his neck, breaking the chain. Then he flings it onto your platform. When it shatters, it lets out a lot, lets out a cloud of mist, which soon coalesces into an unpleasant creature. Uh, let me guess. It's just... Oh, it's actually an oozing zombie. Never mind. I was thinking some sort of minor demon. I also keep not using my aim blow ever. I guess we didn't need to. Okay. I mean, that creature might have been unpleasant, but... Also... Uh, it was easily one-shot, so, you know, we never learned how unpleasant it might have been. Come on. Nice one. The platform finally possesses... Uh, possesses? No. Finally passes the goblin ambush. The sinister lot trinket shouts, You have escaped us for now! The next time we find you, you will be forced to escape us again! That's exactly the same as before. Lame. Okay. And more bats. Wait, did we even get bats last time? Or on this platform? Before? No, we didn't. But now we do. At last, the platform reaches the far end of the chasm. With a soul-running squeal, it grinds to a halt. With a long string of curses, Trinket and his minions flee into the shadows. Again. And do we get anything better this time? Not really. Oh, wait. This goes... Oh, no. This, this goes up, but stays on the same map. And there is yet another chasm. I mean, I guess we... I, I saw this from the other side of the gate, even. I just didn't realize what we were looking at. Okay, so ultimately we we're just gonna complete the loop, but we never picked up... Huh, that's interesting. Wait, unless... Unless... Oh, there is a little bit more here. Okay, good, good. Do I finish this? 47 minutes? Yeah, I mean, we're... At this point it looks like we're getting kind of close, but then there's still the central portion and the final platform ride, so... Maybe I should just stop here. No, I'm gonna continue. Never mind. Oh, also, these guys are actually on top of a cliff. I didn't even realize what were, what I was looking at here. Oh, wait. I didn't expect them to have... Oh, those are goblin... Why did I think they were some sort of zombies? I've been looking at these same goblin graphics for the entire dungeon. And I just completely misinterpreted them now, for some reason. Okay. Right. I cannot uh, grab an item from up on the ledge. That's interesting to know. I feel like some game in the past has handled that differently. More bags of meal. Alright. Not sure why they stole that and then stashed it away here, rather than just you know, bring it to wherever they're actually living to use. You round the corner and confront a horde of goblins, some of them holding cave wolves at the end of chains. They are standing in a crude, a crude throne room. There are two of them, two of the creatures in the back of the crowd. One of them is Lord Trinket. How did he actually make it here? No, seriously, how did he? He was in this middle section before, which is past a locked gate that presumably he has the key for. That's the 15, level 15 door here. But how? I mean, yeah, he could have retreat, retreated through that, but surely he didn't ride the platform with his goblins to, to get here, so how? Who knows? Uh, anyway, Lord Trinket, huh? I guess we're having the boss fight now after all. It's not going to be that bad. Um, he must have run here after attacking you on the platform. The other is a female goblin, slightly shorter and similarly bedecked in gaudy jewelry. Okay, Lord and Lady Trinket then. Trinket points at you. My servants, the invader has come at last, but listen to me and have faith. For this day we will have, we will prove to the humans that he doesn't get any farther in his speech as the goblins scream and charge. 
Amidst the chaos, you think you can see someone watching the fight in the shadows to the east, a humanoid form on the other side of a closed iron gate, someone much larger than a goblin. A Slytherikai? Ooh, really? So, is really... is it really that obvious then? Is it really the Slyths that are behind it? Consort Esmeralda. Okay. Oh, you're weak. And now, the real trinket actually has somewhere in between the, the two other versions of him that we saw earlier in terms of hit points. Okay. Well, that was a bit of a, of a whiff. Um, wait, am I on the right weapon? Yes. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Are they close enough? You know what? I'm gonna risk this. Days. Okay. That mostly worked. Kind of annoyed that I did not actually manage to kill off his girlfriend. I mean, that, that seems. That sounds kind of cruel. Um, no. Don't want to attack you. Thank you. Um, but you can shoot. You can absolutely shoot from there and totally miss. Wow. <sighs> okay. It's fine. There you go. Lord Trinket's consort falls under your attacks. Esmeralda, my sweet, he howls. I will avenge you, and then I will honor my honor your memory by finding a goblin less lovelier and less irritable than you. Rest in peace. And then, reinvigorated by the power of his moving speech, he attacks you with great speed and ferocity. Okay, is he actually buffed now? I guess uh, it would make sense. <laughs> Maybe. I think I might need to... Ooh, ouch. I might actually need to drink a potion here. I might also actually need to heal. Um, can you actually attack him from there? You probably can, can you? Yeah, okay. Nice. Three attacks. Not the most powerful ones I've seen, but... Uh, okay, so you absolutely need to heal him. Uh, you kind of need to get out of the line of fire here. Um, slowly but surely. Drink him. Mana potion. Lord Trinket pulls one of his many pendants from around his neck and uh, dashes it against the floor. Mist pours out of the shattered globe and forms into several vicious carnivorous worms. You wonder, not for the first time, who has been supplying the goblin chief with all of these handy baubles? I mean, if we've already seen the slith in the distance, it seems kind of obvious. Like, kind of an obvious guess, at least that they might be the one involved. Hmm, I would really like to buff, but um, right now we're kind of in a, in a dicey spot here. I think I'm actually gonna daze again. Okay, that has worked on some enemies. Okay, thanks for actually starting to attack our NPC friend who is relatively tanky. We continue taking out the worms. Actually, you take out the rat who's after our mage. Who is gonna get healed? That worm actually is inactive. Should I deal with these goblins that are about to wake up? I wasn't paying attention to uh, which ones of these enemies the, the days worked on. I think they were technically in range, but not all of them were redazed. Ah, let's oh, let's. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Let's try that again, I suppose. 22, not bad, not bad. Lord Trinket holds out his hands and mutters a word of command. One of his rings crumbles into powder, and a wave of sparkling energy travels outward. The spell blesses all of your foes. That's annoying. Now I kind of wish I had taken them out while they were not blessed. Okay, you st uh, step there. I guess that's not really what I was trying to do. Uh, also, the worm is not actually dead. Well, it's awake now. Yeah, let's just do that. Finally cast a war blessing on us. Start taking out those that are definitely about to wake up sometime soon now. You're still attacking Vandran. That's great. Great news. Finally use a Wailane Blow. You too. Man. 
I don't know why that has not somehow been. I don't know why I why I haven't started doing that yet. Eventually, I'll just it'll become second nature. But anyway, Lord Trinket pulls one of his many pendants from around his neck and dashes it against the floor. Um, okay, more worms. Kind of unfortunate that he got another chance. It's different worms though. It's uh, worse worms. I was I would say he's getting pretty low though. So I think. Oh wait, can you actually use this again? Oh, you can't. Until you're no longer fatigued. How do I know when I'm no longer fatigued? Well, he's dead. That's definitely good. Um, I'm also definitely going to daze again, because ju there's just a lot of enemies surrounding us right now. Uh, Lord Trinket falls to the ground, mortally wounded. He looks down at the necklaces and rings he wears, seemingly expecting them to revive him. Instead, they begin to crumble into dust one after the other. So much for getting them as loot from him. He looks around into the shadows, trying to find something with dimming eyes. But Chris is... you said I would be saved, I... And then he dies. You note that one item remains around Trinket's neck, a key on a leather thong. You take it. So much for the goblin infestation, but who is Chris is... Indeed. Um... Actually, what are these worms? Did I, did I even check? Crave, crave, crave crawler, yes. Cave crawler. Okay, let's do that. Awesome. Getting all of them. Oh man. Okay. I'll finish off the wolf then. You how tough are they? 25. Fireball? Nice. Ooh. Good job. Oh man. Again, come on, stab it. Nice. Now that Trinket has fallen, Venren looks extremely pleased with himself. Victory is ours. We have slain the foe and completed our quest. Now back to town to quaff flasks of ale and tell tales of conquest. Also to bandage our wounds. I think I've suffered a bit of bruising. I thank you for your aid in this battle, and I hope that we might fight together again one day. Now excuse me, I must be off. With a final bow, he slips into the shadows. All right. Not even sticking around to clear out the rest of this goblin stronghold. That's fair, I suppose. And there's the free chainmail vest. It's fine. Shield ring, stun resistance, and some armor. Um, yeah. Don't mind if you do. Emperor is not worth anything. Iron bracers. Ooh, eight armor, but minus ten to hit chance. Yikes. That's three. That's four. Okay, you both have these. And here's a silver necklace, which is just for selling. Fine by me. Gold ring, another silver necklace, normal gloves. Oh, there he is, actually. I thought he... I just expected him to have left, but then I then I saw him. Now that Lon Trinket has fallen, you hear dry, hissing laughter. You turn and see that it is coming from the dim, shadowy figure lurking behind the bars to the east. When you move closer, you see that he is a Slyserikai, wrapped in a heavy cloak, his face mostly concealed by his cowl. A vicious-looking two-tined spear is strapped across his back. Can I have that? Though he doesn't seem to be uh, to be about to attack, you get a feeling of great menace. He watches you closely, evaluating you. Is he one of the three Slith warlords himself, or just one of their generals? Hmm. Watch him silently. <sighs> just walk away? Honestly, that's a funny option. I think it, it would make sense for us to ask who he is. So let's do that. He's obviously not going to tell us anything. Probably. The creature lets out a long, low hiss. Then he speaks. His voice is quiet, confident, and chilling. Should I kill? Should I spare? Is this a trap to catch me? To get me to emerge? <laughs> Come out here and fight me. I'm not afraid. That's not true. The slith chuckles. I saw you fight. You are weak. A puny creature. An infant. You do not scare me, unless... Are you bait? I want to kill you. Fast. Easy. Good practice. But no, exposure not worth killing you. You are meaningless. Ooh, just wait until we leveled up a bunch. <laughs> Come out and fight me, you coward. Uh-oh. <laughs> Could we actually provoke him? No, surely not. Him or her? I don't, I'm not even sure. I guess him, right? Um, He's too clever to be... 
to be tricked so easily. So eagerly, so eagerly you beg for death. Perhaps someday I give you what you want. Now you are not important, like picking up a copper piece, not worth effort. But perhaps you are brave. Good luck. One day I hope you are worth killing. As you start to respond, the creature turns his back on you and walks off into the darkness. All right. And I've actually managed to do it. We've crossed the one hour mark. I didn't want it to happen. Definitely not this early on, but oh well, it's fine. Hey, a group heal. Um, normally I like you to have this, especially so, uh, so long as we don't actually have a spell yet. I mean, I don't need return life on a hotkey. In fact, I don't want that uh, in order to not accidentally use it. So that's better. Right, obviously we're not going to be able to follow you here. You search through one of Trinket's boxes looking for treasure. You find only junk, gnawed bones, broken bottles, moldy items of no interest. At the bottom of the box, however, you find something interesting. A leather scroll covered with writing. It looks like Slith script, but you can't understand it. It might be interesting. You keep it. Perhaps someone can translate it for you. Yes. Probably. Uh, fine leather. Presumably... Oh, actually... Well, some sorts of... Some other valuables might also be useful for crafting at some point. Uh, fine leather, though, almost certainly. So, yeah, I think you're going to hold on to that, to anything I suspect to be useful for crafting that is not herbs. Right, then we get this. You get some more javelins, which still don't encumber you. Why? I guess, I mean, you're only... Holding a single weapon as opposed to two. Hmm. Other than that, I'm not sure why she's so much more encumbered. But uh, that's fine. I am actually going to take a break here. We're going to travel across this chasm and open hopefully both of these doors with the key that we found and see what else there is to find here. I mean, we've technically done what we came to do, what we were sent to do, but uh, there is still that. Uh, great find that I would like to get my greedy hands on. So we'll try to do that next time. Uh, for the time being, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.